Get a quick start with Photoshop Elements 2026 in seven easy steps. When first opening Photoshop Elements 2026, you'll be greeted by the home screen. In the home screen, click on the editor icon. In the editor, click on advanced mode. This is the mode that digital scrapper instructors primarily teach from. Some of the quick start instructions require that a document be open. So let's open a document. In the menu bar, choose File, New, Blank File. The settings in the new dialog box are irrelevant, so just go ahead and click OK. That was step one, or step two will set up a custom workspace. In the bottom right corner of the application, Click on the arrow next to More and scroll down to choose Custom Workspace. This will open a set of panels. For this quick start guide, we only want the Layers panel to show. To close the rest of the panels, right click in Windows or Control click on a Mac on a Panel tab and choose Close. That closed the Effects panel. Next, I'll close the Filters panel the Styles panel, and the Graphics panel. Anytime you want to open a new panel, in the menu bar, choose Window and choose a panel to open. Now that the custom workspace is uncluttered, step three is to adjust the look and the behavior of the Layers panel. Hover your cursor over the left edge of the Layers panel until you see a horizontal double-headed arrow. Click and drag to the left to widen the panel as far as it'll go. This will give you optimal space in the Layers panel to see your layers. Next, in the Layers panel menu, choose Panel Options. In the Panel Options dialog box, leave the thumbnail size at Medium. Under Thumbnail Contents, click on Layer Bounds. This will make it easier for you to see what's in each layer. Next, uncheck Use Default Masks on Fill Layers. If we need to add a layer mask to a layer, we'll use the Add Layer Mask icon in the Layers panel. In the Panel Options dialog box, click OK. Step four is to adjust the behavior of the Move tool. Get the Move tool, and in the Tool Options, uncheck Auto Select Layer. Unchecking this option will help to reduce the chaos when creating a scrapbook page. Step 5 is to adjust the behavior of the Tool Options. I still have the Move tool active. In the Tool Options, click on the Flyout menu, which is these three dots, and uncheck Auto Show Tool Options. When scrapbooking, you don't always need the tool options in your way. To collapse the tool options, click on the Minimize icon in the corner. To open the tool options, click on Tool Options at the bottom of the application. In Step 6, we'll disable the contextual taskbar. In the menu bar, choose Window and uncheck Contextual Taskbar. As a team, we've decided that the taskbar is more of a distraction when digital scrapbooking. And finally, in step seven, we'll adjust the preferences. To do that, press Control K in Windows or Command K on a Mac. In the General tab, place a check mark next to Disable Smart Objects. Then uncheck Select Move Tool after committing text. Place a check mark next to Allow Floating Documents in Advanced Mode and place a check mark next to Use Shift Key for Tool Switch. Digital Scrapper Instructors will have all the tool tips disabled to reduce distraction in videos, but I'd recommend keeping them turned on if you're just learning the program. Finally, click OK to close preferences. So those are the seven easy steps for getting a quick start 
with Photoshop Elements 2026. You'll find troubleshooting tips at the bottom of the manual. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.